Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. I've just been reading this book uh, called Religious Experience and Christian Faith. And this is uh, by uh, Julian Huxley. The, the book's by F.W. Dillstone, but there is a quote by Julian Huxley. And it's on religion. He says, It is clear that the era of mutually exclusive dogmatic religion each claiming to be the sole repository of absolute and eternal truth is rapidly ending. If mankind is to evolve as a whole, it must have a single set of beliefs in common, and if it is to progress, these beliefs must be self-limiting but open-ended, not rigid barriers but flexible guidelines, challenging men in the general direction of improvement and perfection. In the light of our new and comprehensive vision, we must redefine religion itself. Religion are not necessarily concerned with the worship of a supernatural god or gods or even with the supernatural at all they are not mere superstition not just self-seeking organization exploitation the people's superstition as it believes in the magical powers of priests and witch doctors the ultimate task will be to melt down the gods and magic and all supernatural entities into their elements of transcendence and sacred power and then with the aid of our new knowledge build up these new materials into a new religious system that will help man to achieve the destiny that our new evolutionary vision has revealed meanwhile we must encourage all constructive attempts at reform reformulating and rebuilding religion my personal favorite is evolutionary humanism but there are many others tending in the same general direction like yoga and zen and ethical meditative systems and the cults have released through psychedelic drugs or bodily rituals. How does this all add up? It adds up to a meaningful whole, something greater than the sum of all parts. We need no longer be afflicted with a sense of our own insignificance and helplessness, or of the world's non-significance and meaninglessness. A purpose has been revealed to us to steer the evolution of our planet towards improvement, and an encouragement has been given us. In the knowledge, the steady evolutionary improvement has actually occurred in the past, the assurance that it can continue in the future um, uh, so I want to just deconstruct this by uh, by uh, Julian Huxley first of all uh, he says that religion dogmatic religion has ceased well um, that was in the 60s he wrote this uh, and dogmatic religion has not ceased so his prophecy was wrong there um, he talks about melting down the gods that implies that well it implies that there is no god but how would he know that he doesn't know everything um, he wants to make a universal kind of humanistic kind of religion and as if that's not dogmatic but there is no such thing as neutrality there's always going to be those who take one side and another group will take another side the idea everybody's going to agree on everything is just not reality and the idea that there are going to be these purer than pure evolutionarist universal religionists that are going to be purer than pure and purer than everybody else and not be dogmatic uh, is just naive whoever gets power will end up controlling other groups he also says uh, that maybe psychedelic drugs will help this universal religion so it's interesting how we've got the enlightenment modernity that talks about science and now we've moved into he's looking for a new religion a universal religion and it could be possibly built on psychedelic drugs what that shows you is somebody who's been brought up in the evolutionary thinking is longing that is finding that materialism that the world is all that there is is material that that is not satisfying that there has to be something more and that's the problem with materialism it can't answer the big philosophical questions and then he says we are not insignificant but if you believe in evolution evolution doesn't tell you that you are significant it's only your own subjective opinion so in the end 
really what Julian Huxley will not do is face the fact that his own position is nihilistic and his own position is dogmatic um, Christianity is all about Jesus at the end of the day and in our in the word of God says in the beginning John chapter 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was the light of life the light was with men and the light shineth in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not there was a man sent from God whose name was John the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might be believed he was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came into his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him to them, gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of flesh, or of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word, here it is, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory uh, as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The Christian faith is based on Jesus, who came down into history, who was united in flesh, who was the God-man. And he is the supreme example of love. He is the supreme example. And he is the Savior who saved us from sin. And you're either for him or against him. And he's is the only way. You don't need drugs. You need to know that Jesus died for you. If you want significance, you look to Christ. You want meaning. He is the one who gives meaning because he is the one who created everything. So in the end, Julian Huxley's agnosticism and materialism didn't satisfy him. He had to move into a more kind of quasi religious mysticism but without God because materialism couldn't satisfy him and uh, you know psychedelic drugs were an option to him rather than coming to know the living Christ who came and died and rose again trust in the Lord God bless you